Crap. Yeah, so, so Jerry, <laughs> sorry, you did I'm a sorry. Fan- I love Chris. You've had a, you did a fantastic job driving and singing at the same time. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna ask that you uh, drive and watch Chris and uh, listen to his lovely voice at the same time, and that should uh, that should be relaxing. It'll soothe. Yes, but uh, uh, I uh, I think we're ready to go on our call. So any time now. Oh wait, I'm getting a confused look from Chris. Uh, I, we can't hear him. He's just on the... I am... Oh, he's not even... Is it not working? <laughs> oh, okay. There we go. You okay. monster. There are no words Yay! that have the mouth shape. Crass! So I'm fine. I'm good. It's good. How are y'all? Yay! Yay! It's crass. Uh, What's up, man? Um, how are you doing? What, how are you doing, Jerry? Is this your first time up there? Yeah, yeah. This, I'm, I'm busting for real. Oh, you got that bus. You yeah. got the bus on lock. I've been seeing that expert driving skill. <laughs> Thanks, pal. I've, I've been enjoying it. Nice, uh, nice. No. Hey, did you did you catch my flow? I did. You texted me a little a little uh, little sauce. Oh this, no, this so I, I occasionally text raps to Chris. No, I I I hear on the channel, like on the feed. Oh yeah, no, I heard that too. Okay, good. Another first. But you know me. <laughs> You're, you're a class act. Same you saving it up for the trip north. Here, listen, I guess someone else should be able to talk to you also. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I don't care. Like, this is just you and me time. Ooh, is there anybody else in the room? I don't see anybody. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Driving the bus mm-hmm. takes all the effort that a man can summon. Well, speaking of which... This is engineering. Johnny. Hi, engineering. Johnny. Uh, Greetings. We are uh, going to give control to Chris. <gasps> yeah, this is a secret surprise. So that that uh, Jerry doesn't have to drive while trying to talk. We're going to make Chris do that. And so Chris is going to be remote controlling the bus. That's why I lost control. <laughs> <laughs> it is enabled now. Now Chris is driving yeah, the bus. I'm seeing the response. Lag time very low. Feels Feels tight. Feels right. <laughs> so what? as you can see, yes. Jerry, uh-huh. Jerry has no uh, controller Chris, in his Chris, hand. You need to accelerate more. You are. And yet the bus is correcting itself. Press the W button, Chris. <laughs> oh, sorry. Don't kill my point. There you go. Oh, 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 oh you're safe. Right. Acceleration. <laughs> acceleration. acceleration, everybody. I'm looking at this on a uh, 320 by 200 video, <laughs> and I could not tell that motion had. <laughs> Going to cease. <laughs> this oh. is amazing. Yeah, this is this is next level. Well done, engineering for. I was gonna say like the future desert bus could go all year and just crowdsource the entire thing. Me, Johnny. <laughs> no, Crasp. Imagine a universe where the bus never stops. Whoa. I, I'm I'm living in it. Well, well, <laughs> I, I, imagine a monastic order for whom the continuous driving of the bus constitutes a true ethos. <laughs> yeah. It's their rights. They the pass it. They take exactly. these. But imagine the bus is a kind of virtual reliquary, right? <laughs> Moving from yeah. place to place. Yeah, and and taking the wheel is an important step in a young man or woman's life. Do you feel like you've finally come of age? <laughs> I sure do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so for those uh, who may not know who you are, other than what? a beautiful oh i'm sorry i forgot that you can't hello how do i look at you guys and this bus this is a nightmare it's like having a it's like there's a bunch of kids back there just just listen just listen to our voices uh for those who may not know who you are other than a beautiful man on screen um do you want to introduce yourself yeah my name is chris Straub. i'm a cartoonist i do chainsawsuit.com but and a lot of other stuff um as well as uh, uh, the story Candle Cove, which is having its series finale tonight. Hooray! Um, I haven't seen it yet, so Wait, I'm What's excited. that hoodie you're wearing? Do you want to... Are you representing... Uh, it's my show. Whoa. Well, it's not my show. It's a show I sold the idea of to another party. But, I, but the seed is still there. <laughs> um, I, 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 I'm, ex- I'm glad you asked me what I do. Um, because I did want to talk to you guys today about Desert Chris. What? Um, my superior um, uh, fundraising effort for, for the kids. Uh, and I have the website up now. It's called desertchris.org. You can see what I'm up to, what I was up to. It's on a time delay. Um, so I could visit with you. And 
it's it's really good stuff. I figured out how to how to make it work for the children, and uh, it's my eleventh year. So, <laughs> wow, uh... just kind of kind of setting the setting the course ahead, and uh, you guys figuring out. You know, it's neat. I can drive the bus from the web. Okay, that's kind of neat. Whatever, but uh, I'm I'm breaking down the walls. What what gave you this idea? This groundbreaking idea. Um, it's because of, uh, of just my genius and my good ideas that I have a lot sometimes. It's just and a real just, bolt of originality out of nowhere. Yeah, it just struck me. <laughs> I, last year I did, it was, uh, Desert Chris for Even More Hope. That was number 10. And, uh, I actually fell short of my goal, unfortunately, but I figured out a way to, f- for us to both occupy the space and, uh, please everyone. It's, mine is not... Desert Chris, it's Dessert Chris. Mm. And I, Delicious. my challenge is to remain alone. No, 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 you have to desert me. Not with two S's. I am alone no. in this well, office. I don't like that as well. 24-7. I love it. It gives me a chance to explore my, my dance moves and my body. Yeah. And uh, it's just fun. And somehow that helps children. I don't, I'll, I'll figure that out later. So, um, We've got a, your website up on the, your beautiful website up on the overlay now. Uh, but we have to have it on mute because it, <laughs> yeah, it auto plays MIDI Sandstorm. So <laughs> I, had to, I kept the desert hook in there because I am dancing to Sandstorm. Yeah. So it still is related. Sand. It's just good. It's just great. Gotten some donations already, a couple. There might be maybe two so far. But that's promising. It's for a start, a, for right? a, in its 11th year. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm psyched. Ah, <laughs> what are you tracking here? Dabs? <laughs> I, didn't, I do not dab. Whips no. And Whips well, and also nanas. <laughs> Whips Don't and or nanas? Not sure which one is which, so we'll have to get a final count. <laughs> <laughs> do you have it broken down in the database? Like, is it possible for someone to nay, or do they have to nay nay? Like, is it, do you have, like, That's, individual nays? Is there or? a half nay or there is, like, fractional nays? I'm yeah. not sure. Uh, here's the interesting thing with machine learning. Whatever that connect on the other side of the room, it will determine whether or not it's going to show me some surprises, I'm pretty sure. You guys are, seem dumbfounded. By <laughs> I, I, That's an incredible idea. Just and a little bit, actually. <laughs> If you want, if you want me to hook you up. Sorry, Chris. I was imagining a terrible future where machines would correct my nays and or whips, and I was like, no, I can't. I can't. You go live on. in it. Any of those dance games will tell you you're doing a bad job. But I now mean, we can. Use I don't it. need a dance game to tell me I'm doing a bad job at dancing, Chris. So I have this whole room and all of our viewers. <laughs> uh, but Chris. the but the machine will tell you why exactly it's a bad job. I would uh, no. I also know why. It's because I can't dance. <laughs> Chris, it appears here that you have gotten low four times. Is that correct? I did get, in the past hour, I did get low four times. Um, and <laughs> well, I'm sure we'll do a highlights reel once the entire <laughs> piece is over. Uh, how are you going to pick out highlights from the entire desert, desert Chris? Like, that's like, it's like picking your favorite gem, right? It, oh, I mean, well, I mean, there's a lot of, again, the connect comes into play because it's a lot of two-step. It's a lot of the same back and forth. A lot of snap song type stuff? Yeah, I just look for the outliers on the on the graph, and yeah. then I just plug that into Final Cut, and I got a DVD ready to go. The highest, best hits, greatest hits of the show. So you have more than one, one camera here? Is there, is there also a floor cam? Is that correct? There's a floor cam, so you can make sure I'm not cheating. You can see that the, the dancing is optimal at all times <laughs> it's just your feet moving back and forth. no i don't want to i don't want to run a crooked game I, i'm doing it for the children what, what would it teach them uh if you performed a, a a whip nay or something like that some non-standard configuration i mean that's that's not what we want them to know right i think i the could forbidden uh, dances well i'm not about to do that for a child but i think it's about <laughs> Oh, this is really difficult. There is some lag on the bus, and every once in a while, I little veer, and I panic. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, as far as children's learning, I think we could adapt this technology to any number of... Uh, am I slowing down? Come on, bus! You're slowing down again, Chris. Uh, hit W. I am hitting that W. I've been leaning on it. 
It's, Ooh, it's called a cool. Kathleen Devere. When, that's when what I was. Oh, I was yes. trying to formulate it, Jerry. All right, here's some shop talk for you. I was trying to find a route into that joke, and then don't I assumed worry. it made a million times. Brother so man, I listen. I listen. You don't. I got you. All right. All right. All right. All right. You, you just drive the bus. You just drive the bus, <laughs> brother. I'll handle the puns. <laughs> I, got, I got this. See. I'm actually very impressed that you're able to uh, maintain this elaborate uh, farce and drive the bus at the same time. They both require equal effort on my part. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. This is, it's a multi-farce. I mean, this is a, this is a, a sophisticated effort. Uh, we did, I, oh, go ahead. Oh, we did have, a, we did have a, a challenge come in for you to do a scene it for you of the Emoji movie, which it's sort of irrelevant if this has not come out yet. But I don't think I'm going to ask you to do that while you're driving the bus. Oh my God! I think it would make more sense to like enumerate the number of jokes that are not poop jokes. <laughs> yeah. Like it would take a lot less time. Yeah, shorter. That yeah. a single panel, in fact, probably. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the title screen. <laughs> uh, um, I do have some some questions from our viewers, though, if you don't mind taking a few. Ooh. Um, that's, that's what bus drivers do. Well, actually, here's, here's, here's kind of a silly one. But if you were a bus driver, what would you keep on your dashboard since you're a bus driver now? <laughs> <laughs> I immediately went to a gun. I don't know, actually. <laughs> I do not know. Wow. If I'm a bus driver, I need my, I need my freshness is the thing. And we've got, a, we've got a, a tree freshener there. But I'm a, more of a fan of the branded stuff. Like maybe a San Andreas, the rock air freshener. Oh. That's probably it, though. What about a Dwayne, the rock one Johnson for, air for freshener? My, bus, for my wallet. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, you could sell one that just is just like the, his bicep shape and with that tattoo on it. One dangly arm hanging it's recognizable. from your rearview mirror. I, I think the silhouette would be parsable instantaneously. Like, oh, yeah, I know whose you know, human arm that is. Yeah, and it just smells like... It's like his pits. It's like that, like that must, that powerful odor. And then somebody gets in your car, and it's like, has the rock been in here? Yeah, it's redolent. Like, hey, B, can impress your date. It's just the wink, right? <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, with the cat sound. I have, I have an actual serious question. Uh, yes. Um, so, and you already mentioned it once, but how has watching Candle Cove been? Like, how has the whole experience been to take something that was your idea and to see it sort of, you know, in a different form, go forth into a whole new medium? Like, what's that been like for you? I have been, I was, I've said that, um, Candle Cove is a great thing to have done it with because I've just, I wrote it as a, a lark. I think it took me 20 minutes to write it. And then... Uh, on the site I used to have that was sort of that micro horror before it, the term creepy pasta arrived. Uh oh, I lost bus control, guys. What's going on with that bus? Oh, here we go. We're back. No, I, you got it. All right. Yeah, I'm good now. Engaging auto honk in three, two, <laughs> one. Auto honk. Did it work? Uh, oh, okay. I don't know what that sound was. Anyway, uh, oh, in that. So I I wrote it. And then it took off like a, as a meme, and it was proliferated without my name on it because it was scarier as a "Can you believe this really happened?" thing. And then I hated it for years for that reason, and I didn't like the fan stuff was making me mad. Whoa, bus! Take it easy, bus. Um, so I had enough distance from it where it's like, yes, you may have it. Um, uh, I mean, at a price. Obviously, but <laughs> it went well, and the people that, are, that um, uh, uh, Nick Antosca is, uh, he wrote it. He's a showrunner. He wrote for Hannibal. I've written or I've read a lot of his short stories, which I really like. And the tone is uh, is exactly what I would like. But my involvement beyond the short story was is near zero. It's all their work. Well, are you so it's been it's been positive. Good. <laughs> And you're enjoying watching it and all that stuff? I'm assuming you're oh, watching yeah. it. No, very much, yeah. I, 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 I do not know what happens in the finale. I haven't seen that far ahead. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, that might be the only positive I had my thing adapted by Hollywood story I've ever heard. So. Yeah, right? That, that's, <laughs> it's, that, that's, that's not how it goes, man. Yeah. It's, well, here's the thing. Like, it was because of what it was, I think it was, it was allowed to be positive because it was a very short story 
and I had sort of disconnected myself from it. Had I like made it my baby or whatever, and then sold it, and then it got taken away from me, and then it went off the rails or whatever, or I was more like intrinsically linked to it and worried about it, um, I think it would have been terrible. There are a lot of places where it could have gone bad. I am incredibly intimidated in any kind of a legal scenario, and it's, that is not enjoyable. That is not fun. Negotiating is the worst thing invented. I'm not skilled. That's why I'm answering questions and driving a bus at the same time. I think you're doing a great job. Yeah, so, I'll say. Um, yeah, because you only stand a benefit. See what I needed to it's do. It's incredible. No, you're functionally an employee. This is great news. <laughs> the real here is that we're never I feel like everybody's over in my cube, looking over my shoulder. Yeah. yeah. This is nerve wracking. I know how it's many, really stressful, isn't it? How many crashes have there been? A lot. Oh, okay. Too many. I feel uh, better. So Jeremy tried to drive the bus while playing other video games to try and uh, it make his. Um, dry, his overnight driving shift uh, sort of like stimulating for his brain. Well, so you crashed 11 times? More difficult. Yeah. I, I, so we've gotten really good. Whoa. We've gotten really good at driving the bus over the years, right? And so we've tried different... We've, we've implemented the device to add uh, horrible special effects to make driving harder for ourselves. But the real ultimate test, I figured, would be to play Desert Bus while playing another video game for 12 hours. Um, yeah. We rotated through various games and... Uh, 12 different games and 11 crashes. So I'm going to consider that a success. Uh, and then Cam just straight up fell asleep while he was driving. For so. real sleep? Yeah. Wow. The yeah. sleep zone? Yeah, he went, he went past the bone zone into the dead zone. Yeah. <laughs> it was in the, the dead asleep zone. The zone beyond? Yeah. Uh, uh, he was driving an overnight shift, and I think uh, his body was just like, no, and just <laughs> shut it down. Um, That's terrifying. <laughs> you could fall asleep with with thousands of people watching you on camera? <laughs> yeah, were there no, was nobody like, hey, I noticed there's a problem. The eyes are shutting. Like, there are some I signifiers. Mean, you can always be like, no, no, I'm not falling asleep. My eyelids are meditating. It's fine. It's fine. That's not real. <laughs> I'm stretching them. I just got to get them. Yeah. Eyelids have no consciousness. It's so. a, but, like, uh, you know, if you're really, really tired and you're trying to stay awake and you're like, what if I just close one eye at a time? And you do that. I've never done that. I, I know that's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> that's your uh, eyes fooling you. Uh, the chat is saying that he did one of those things where you like take a, like a strong blink to sort of refresh yourself, and he, he blinked and then just immediately fell oh, asleep. Yeah. <laughs> God, he was right on the right on the bubble. Then <laughs> they're, wa like, they're waiting huh? for that moment. <laughs> With seized just, power. We're, we're just heavy enough. He's <laughs> just got to go a little too long. That's 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 upsetting. Uh, hey, I have a couple of questions about some other stuff you do. Uh, I have a question from where there, what is there? Many questions coming in, so now I have to find it. Yes, Nerd Soda says, when is the next episode of Scared Yet? Huge fan of the cast. That's good. Thank you. I do this, um, not weekly, uh, some, sometime, uh, horror podcast with Abby Howard, whom most of you know from, uh, her comic, The Last <laughs> Halloween last hyphen halloween.com i believe please correct me if i'm wrong um but we just talk about uh we just talk about the the elements of horror that interest us and what um i don't know i feel like it, it's a, it's spawned from the first brood hollow kickstarter which is a horror comic strip i do um i said i would do reviews of of creepy pastas and then that kind of branched into any horror media and that was because pretty much every creepy creepy pasta is awful and I did not want to do a thing where I just uh, make fun of bad writing. Like, I wanted to actually talk about um, what makes it effective and why isn't it effective. But there's a lot of, like, self-insert stuff, you know? Well, it, it's, I, it's a subgenre of, sub of fan fiction almost, right? Because the, oh, yeah. the elements are just out there. They're ambient. And so they, of course, it's just like... It's like a Sailor Moon fanfic or whatever, right? At the end of the day, it's a it's genre fiction. Well, yeah, it's like this, it's like, like a, to coin or to use the DeviantArt term, OC, original character. It's the idea that you've actually created a universe in which to write fanfic about. Yeah. Um, like, I've made a character that I am a fan of. Now, I, as the reader, maybe I'm not a fan. Like, I have to be introduced. But, yeah, that stuff is very, like, it's, it's heavy on iconic 
uh, killer and kind of absurd uh, revenge. It's just not. It's not my thing, man. I so, don't so, like so, that. So, do you like it or not? I mean, it seems like there's a lot of ambiguity, I, sort of. In your I like it in doses. There are some that are really good, um, and I, that we reviewed on there. But um, again, it also depends on like the audience. Who's it written for? Yeah. The one that keeps coming up is Jeff the Killer, which I, which is not a good one. But I mean, it may have been written by an 11 year old. Like, and what right do I have to like go? Now here's where he went wrong. Well, of course it's not a good story. He's a baby. He's he's, a he's baby learning. Focus. Yeah, I'm not gonna come down on them, and they have no plans for it. They released it into the ether, and and it became what it is now. I wonder who that child was, though. Albert Einstein is the way that joke typically ends. That's Albert Einstein. That's what he did. That's his true legacy. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> uh, next question. <laughs> sorry, I'm still, I'm still sort of giggling. Um, what's your favorite memory from the 11 years you've been doing Desert Chris? Oh, man, so many. <laughs> um, at one point, um, every uh, member of the House of Representatives came into my office and gave me a medal. <laughs> They gave, each of them gave me a medal from their state, and I just got a big pile of medals. I haven't even looked at all of them. I assume they're all for good things, like the, my contribution. But, I, I mean, I can't be bothered. I had more great things to do. Well, so. I'm pretty sure West Virginia does have a medal just for dancing really well to Sandstorm, so... <laughs> Yeah. It's been recognized. Yeah. It's a, it's, it's, a, a, it's a holiday there, actually. It's a, it's a protected state art. It's like part they, of their cultural the, heritage. They gave the song uh, the key to the city, uh, <laughs> I, I believe. <laughs> the song itself. Yeah. The song, yeah. So, uh, Chris, if the, you... The storm that the song inspired, <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Chris, if you are tired of, of driving the bus now, I'm told that you have fulfilled your obligation if you want to give it back over to Jerry. I, I mean, I can. Um, I'm actually kind of curious. Like, So let me ask you a question about the, uh, about the controller. The, I cannot the answer experts. those questions. No, no, no. I can you answer you must questions. have been here before. If you just bang on left or right, mm -hmm. does the bus skate over there? Yeah, or does you it, can crash on the there left. A uh, no, you can you can crash both ways. You can like if you drive too far over to the curb too aggressively, you can crash on it. Oh, for sure. But what I'm asking is like the difference in input. I don't know if like oh, there's if, no difference in input. It's but, like it's well, between what but experience there is. I'm not oh. sure if there's a lag on your end, but yeah, typically that might be what I saw. Typically, the way that it works is the longer you press the button, the the faster the bus moves in that direction. There is an acceleration curve. Mm -hmm. So if you just tap it, it'll move slowly, and if you're just tapping it over and over again, it'll continue moving slowly. But if you hold it down for any period of time, then that's when the bus starts to move. And if that's what I wanted to know, whether or not those taps, the acceleration would stack, and then suddenly the bus is just launching. Yeah, oh. not, not with the taps. But I'm wondering if th that doesn't happen on the controller, but does it happen in this implementation on the keyboard? I'm just hitting dun, dun, dun. W or A. You're the first. Yeah, you are, is, you are. Is this a pure emulation of that controller is what I'm asking? <laughs> I mean, I think we're at the mercy of network packets and all sorts of other strange things I don't understand as well. It's not the environment to do that test. I understand that. Yeah, it was it was nerve wracking. I thought I had hit it a couple too many times, and I and it, maybe it was lag, but I saw the bus just shunt to as though that was where the antidote was on the left side, <laughs> and I I got real nervous that I had blown it. But looks okay. No, you've driven flawlessly. Yeah, honestly, actually, I'm super impressed that you've been able to do all of this at once. Uh, I do have a, a question here, uh, dear Chris. With the success of uh, uh, Desert Chris. Are we going to be getting a Desert Chris South anytime soon? I hope so. The good thing about this is that anybody can do it, as long as they can dance. So I'd love to just farm that out to anybody who's willing to uh, get the rights to Sandstorm, which I did not get ahead of time. So I'm actually on the hook to pay a lot of money. Um, and most of the donation money is going to go towards that. But in future years, I will, we'll have that sorted out. Maybe I'll just do it with my mouth. I'll just sing it. Hum it. Do 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 do. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. It's like Darude's in the room with us. 
that's what his hymn was like. He sat bolt upright one morning in bed. That's it. His salieri is over his shoulder. How did he? How did he do it? It's incredible. Good grief. We have been talking to you for a delightful 25 minutes, but this is about the point where I want to start wrapping things up just because we got a lot of stuff to do and I don't want to keep you all day. Could you please? Can I please? <laughs> <laughs> no, get him out of here. Clear him out. No, I know. That's what he's asking. Launch him into space. I have, I have, I wanted to say before, but before we let you go, uh, can you talk about all of the wonderful things you do, such as uh, another thing that people were asking about, 28 Plays Later, which you just did a live show at, at PAX Australia, which yes, was well received. Yes, I do a uh, gaming podcast, which is actually every week with Paul Verhoeven, not the director, an Australian version of him. Uh, a doppelganger? Cult- yeah, a secret. He's like, he's like a, one of the, uh, like a clone that they kept in the attic. In the Verhoeven's attic, um, uh, it's called Twenty Eight Plays Later. Twenty Eight Plays Later dot com, and we just talk about games. It's very similar in format to the one with um, Abby, in which I just we just like to have a conversation about stuff that is interesting to us. Uh, but um, it's also given me an excuse to actually play games, which has been nice. Right, it's a, a time to escape. Uh, recently, we played. Um, we played Payday 2 with um, William Pugh, the guy who did Stanley Parable and uh, uh, Crows, Crows, Crows. He's, he's, he's the, uh, the creative guy there. He's a very funny man. Yeah, I bet. He's down to play every week. I can't, I can't wait. I'm not crazy about Payday, but that's fine. There's other games. You could play those. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> we are under contract. <laughs> For real? Uh, no. I wish that was the case. Uh, no, it's just an excuse to, to riff on a stream, which is a great... I understand streaming now. That's what it's for. Right. It <laughs> I get it. Yeah, <laughs> the system works. Um, yes, and then I do uh, Chainsaw Suit, uh, another webcomic, and this thing is veering and not getting my input. Oh, come on, little boy. Bring me back. Maybe I should. we should yield control so we can have like a, a, con- a transfer of power now while we're both on. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, Jerry, you got the controller now? You I good? do. Okay, A Chris, is pressed. You're re- well, it doesn't do anything right now because he's remoting, but yes, Chris, you are being, I'll, you are relinquished. I'll, re- I'll release. You will, le- we are back. Jerry is in control. Yay! Yay! Jesus. That was, that was amazing. That was amazing. You were our first uh, successful remote driver, Chris. It felt like a mid-air refuel where you got to line everything up just right. <laughs> it was a metronaut. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I said that for you, Chris. Thank you. Thank you, Jerry. I love you very much. How long are you up there? Uh, another day or so. Nice. nice. Yeah, yeah. I, really, I wanted to come very badly because um, it's a great time. Well, next year, there. next year, let's do it together. I would love to do that. Right? Let's just kick to, it. I need to lock that stuff down. I, I hear uh, Desert Chris. <laughs> Yeah, He's yeah. looking for guests, Jerry. If you're yeah. <laughs> we can I do could, both. You would just swap. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Well, lovely. It's so good to see all of you. I miss each of you. Aww. Aww. Thank you so much for calling in, Chris. You're always a delight. You're always hilarious. Uh, our viewers love pretty much everything you do. I'm sorry we couldn't answer all of your questions, such as, can I have a high five? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to... Yeah, there <laughs> Ooh. Chris, always Jeez, please easy. the audience. Uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, thank you so much, Chris. We really appreciate it. And uh, if people want to check out your stuff, do they have a website that, that, that you could they direct could, They to? know the website. Yeah, which one? Just go to chainsawsuit.com. Is the only, it's got all the links to everything. There's a convenient bar on top that, uh, that will lead you everywhere you need to go. So that's, that's my, my gift to the world. It's that, that breadcrumb trail up there. Yay! <laughs> well done. Do I have to do the like a hard stop? You seem no, like I, you're having a hard time saying goodbye. I like well, you a lot. I, I, I heard go an hour. I just forgot miss you so much, Chris. And it's like, oh, it's, parting is such sweet sorrow, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, blah blah blah. Uh, <laughs> from the heart, from <laughs> yeah. Hey, that was as close to emotion as I get with most people. So you know. that's good. It was a heartfelt I, feeling. I, 
I appreciate that. Somewhere I feel it. <laughs> Maybe in like the like the lower femur area. Yeah. <laughs> Not quite I, close to the, in the calf. calf. <laughs> I have to get that checked out. Yeah, my fibula. <laughs> so having some the shooting pains. <laughs> if you're fi- if you feel Kathleen's feelings in your fibulas and or tibulas for more than four hours. <laughs> I don't know, tell someone maybe? Or maybe don't, it's weird. <laughs> they might tell think your they doctor, might look at you. And they'll say, what do you want me to do? <laughs> I told you to get out of here. <laughs> We're not going to make appointments like this anymore. I, I'm not a doctor, I'm a butcher. Just <laughs> I'm not, yeah, I was kidding. I'm not a doctor of that. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, we should let you go before we uh, keep farting around. But thank you so much for calling thank in, Chris. You, Chris. you are no fantastic you as always. See you, pal. Thank you. See you around. Oh, wow. Wow, so affectionate.